Hello there everybody, BlueCJ here and now let's get into the review. Let's start with the price obviously. When this budget phone was released in 2018, it was listed at around $150 and it was really good too at the time like most Redmi phones. You had good specs, good battery, a decent display, an okay camera and build quality as well. My dad got this one for only $68 and while it's not really in the best condition exterior wise, I still think that this is an absolutely great deal. The build quality is surprisingly good, it's so easy to hold and the aluminum build makes it feel more expensive than it really is, definitely a strong point of the Redmi 6 Pro. You have this dual camera module here that actually sort of resembles the one from the iPhone 10. I really like the size of this phone, yeah it is a significantly smaller display but I definitely miss being able to use the phone with one hand at ease and be able to carry it around without even noticing it that much. Now it is on the thicker side though at 8.8mm but I guess that's okay because that makes way for a bigger battery for a small form factor like this which we'll talk about later. It has a headphone jack which is nice and it also has a fingerprint scanner that's alright, not really fast but not slow as well. The speaker is okay, you can get some detail but it won't be really as loud as a driver in a larger phone obviously. It has an IR blaster as well which I'm a fan of and also only caveat here is that this phone still uses micro USB instead of type C but I guess it's really okay because this phone isn't really expensive at all. The display is decent, it's a 5.83 inch 1080p IPS LCD panel and it's better than I expected especially from a phone at this size. It also surprisingly keeps up with the Redmi 9 in terms of brightness and the detail is going to be very crisp because of the resolution combined with this compact size. Color is good and I think that a 1080p IPS display isn't too common at all at this size which also contributes to why this phone is a great deal in 2021. Now let's talk about the specs. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 625, 4GB of RAM for this version, a dedicated microSD card as well as 64GB of storage which is also great. You also have a 4000 mAh battery here which is actually pretty normal on paper but because this isn't really a huge display with super high specs and combine that with MIUI optimization, the battery is surprisingly great. You can easily get 7, 8, maybe even more than 9 hours on a full charge if you use the phone lightly. And let's go to the performance of the Redmi 6 Pro. Of course, it's not really going to be the best but this was also better than I expected. Multitasking through apps is smooth, playing games is good as well although you won't get the highest frame rates, but overall I think that this is also great for the price and you won't get this type of performance on a brand new phone. Software experience is good too, this one though is a Chinese ROM version phone so it's going to be way different than usual but it isn't really going to be a deal breaker at all if you're looking for this device. It's rocking MIUI 12 on Android 9 Pie and this is almost a 3 year old phone but it's nice that it still got updated to the latest MIUI. My dad also found a neat little feature here in the stock health app where you can actually measure your heart rate. Not really sure how accurate it is, but I guess it's okay for casual situations where you just want to check your BPM. And now let's look at this dual camera setup. The main shooter is a 12 megapixel sensor at f2.2, and the secondary one is a 5 megapixel at f2.2 depth sensor for all of your portrait shots. You're obviously not buying this phone for its cameras, but these ones are not bad at all. It takes HDR photos and it also shoots standard 1080p video at 30fps along with EIS which is a nice bonus. Overall, I'd say it's decent, the detail is okay, color is also fine, and dynamic range is alright. For the selfie camera, well it's a 5 megapixel sensor that can take okay selfies and is actually capable of portrait shots as well. So that's the Redmi 6 Pro. This phone is not really new but now that prices have dropped, it has become a very great deal for a low price. If you're someone who really wants to save some money, then you won't make the wrong decision purchasing one if you get it in good condition. It still has a great battery even after almost 3 years, good performance, good and compact build, a decent display, and an okay camera setup. Anyway, that's it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 300 subscribers on this channel. Stay blue, my friends. Goodbye.